Planet Play Pals, Secrets of the Sea. Dive into the unknown and swim with the mysteries beneath the waves in today's breathtaking journey, Secrets of the Sea. Join our fearless friends, the Planet Play Pals, as they unlock the secrets that live under the water. Are you ready to make a splash into adventure? Ahoy mates! Rhea here, and I've spotted a mysterious coral reef that hides more than just sea creatures. Legend has it, an ancient shipwreck full of secrets is waiting to be discovered. But that's not all. We'll need to protect this underwater paradise. Dive in with me to uncover the story beneath the waves. Hello, explore friends. I'm Annika, ready to take you on a science adventure under the sea. Have you ever seen a jellyfish glide through the water and wondered how it moves so gracefully? Today, we're going to make our very own jellyfish in a bottle. We're diving deep into the wonders of the ocean and learning some cool science along the way. Hey friends, I'm Kwame, ready to take you on a storytelling adventure under the sea. Have you ever dreamed about a hidden city like Atlantis? Or wondered about the gentle giants and tiny treasures that live in the ocean? Let's gather round and dive into stories that sparkle with secrets of the sea. Who knows what we'll discover about the amazing underwater world and the stories it holds. From uncovering mysteries with Rhea in the coral reefs, to creating our own jellyfish with Anika, and diving into sea tales with Kwame, today's adventure uncovering the secret of the sea is going to be amazing. So get ready friends, and let's embark on this underwater expedition with the Planet Play Pals. Are you ready to discover the secrets and stories hidden beneath the waves? The Underwater Puzzle of Coral City I'm Captain Rhea, and today we're embarking on a thrilling quest in Coral City. A mysterious message in a bottle claims there's a hidden treasure among the corals. But there's a twist. It's guarded by the secret of the shipwreck. Are you ready to dive into this adventure and unlock the secrets of the deep? Welcome to Coral City, the amazing underwater city. Every corner is bursting with life. Did you know corals are not just rocks, but living creatures? They build these ocean cities, making homes for thousands of sea animals. But these busy underwater neighborhoods need our care to stay clean and safe. See these bright little fish? They're called clownfish and they love playing hide and seek among the corals. Corals provide them protection, and in return, clownfish help keep the corals clean. It's like they're best buddies. And over there is a parrotfish. Can you guess why it's called that? Right, because its mouth looks like a parrot's beak. Parrotfish use their beaks to eat the algae off the coral, which helps keep the reef healthy. Plus, they have a super cool secret. Parrotfish can change colors. Hey, have you noticed? Some parts of Coral City look a bit duller than others. Not as bright and colorful as where we met our fish friends. I wonder what's happening. You're right, Finn. Let's follow this parrotfish. It might lead us to some answers. Planet Play Pals, keep your eyes open. Look, there's something in the distance. It's a shipwreck. But it's not just any wreck, it's becoming part of the reef. See how new corals are starting to form on it? This shipwreck shows us that even things that seem out of place, like a sunken ship, can become a new home for corals and fish. It's a fresh start, bringing more color and life back to Coral City. But why were some corals looking duller? Well, corals need clean water and lots of sunshine to stay healthy. When the water gets too dirty or too warm, it can make them sick and lose their colors. That's why it's so important for us to protect the ocean. Exactly. And every fish we've met today, from the playful clownfish to the hard-working parrotfish, depends on healthy corals for their homes. By helping keep the ocean clean, we're helping all our fishy friends and the corals too. 
And you know what? We can all be heroes for the ocean. Things like using less plastic, recycling, and even telling others about how cool coral reefs are can make a big difference. It's like being part of a superhero team for Coral City. You're right, pals. Now let's get back to our submarine. Today's adventure taught us a lot, not just about the amazing life in Coral City, but also about how we can help keep it bright and beautiful. Let's promise to be the guardians of the ocean and all its wonderful creatures. What an enlightening journey with Rhea, Emily, and Finn. They've shown us the beauty of the coral reef, the strength of life under the sea, and how each of us plays a part in keeping the coral reefs safe. Remember, even the smallest action can lead to big changes. Anika's Science Show, Jellyfish in a Bottle. Welcome back, young scientists. Today, in Anika's Science Show, we're diving into a magical experiment, creating our very own jellyfish in a bottle. But this isn't just about crafting. It's a glimpse into how jellyfish, and indeed all sea life, adapt and thrive in their watery world. For this experiment, you will need a clear one liter bottle, plastic or glass, blue food coloring, a plastic bag, some color markers, a bit of string, a pair of scissors. Now fill the bottle with water. and add the blue food coloring until it is the shade you want. Next, take your plastic bag and cut one side of it into a rough square. Once you've got it in a square, Take your markers and make a little design that looks like a circle in the center with some legs on the side. The circle will be the jellyfish's head. Now take a glass and place it under the circle and pour a little bit of water onto the circle. Next, carefully pick up the plastic bag and twist it around the water in the circle, like this. And take your piece of string and tighten the twist as much as you can. Don't worry if some water spills out, that's okay. Now we need to cut the jellyfish legs. With a scissor, cut eight to 10 legs, and you can cut off some of the extra plastic. Now put your jellyfish into the bottle and close the bottle shut. There it is! Our little jellyfish in a bottle. See our jellyfish friend here floating and bobbing? Just like in the ocean, our jellyfish moves by changing where it floats. In the vast sea, 
jellyfish suck in water to sink and push it out to float up. It's their way of dancing through the ocean, exploring and searching for food. But our jellyfish isn't alone in the big blue. The ocean is a network of life where every creature, big or small, plays a role. From tiny plankton to great whales, everyone is connected. Jellyfish themselves are part of this grand puzzle of life, giving life to some and sacrificing itself for another to live. Just think about it. Without jellyfish, certain fish would have less to eat, and the balance of the ocean could tip. That's why understanding the roles of creatures like our jellyfish teaches us about ecosystem interconnectedness. Every species has its place, contributing to the health and balance of our oceans. Our little experiment was more than just a fun activity. It's a window into the marvels of marine life. It shows us how adaptation, like a jellyfish controlling its floatiness through how much water it holds, is key to survival in the ever-changing ocean. It's a reminder of why we must protect our oceans and the incredible life within. Each of us has a part to play in preserving this wondrous world under the waves. By learning about it, we grow to love it. And in loving it, we're inspired to protect it. What an enlightening adventure in Annika's science show. Today, we learned not just how to make a jellyfish float in a bottle, but also discovered the beauty of buoyancy, adaptation, and the interconnectedness of ocean life. It's a big ocean out there, full of mysteries and wonders waiting for us to explore and safeguard. Until next time, Keep your curiosity alive and dive deep into the science and stories of our planet with the Planet Play Pals. Ocean Legends, the mystery of Atlantis. Gather closer, young adventurers. I'm Kwame, ready to take you on a little trip as we delve deeper into the heart of the ocean's greatest tale, the lost city of Atlantis. Imagine a beautiful city made of gold, where humans live along with sea creatures. Legends tell us that Atlantis was a paradise of knowledge and beauty, lost to the sea in a single day. Was it swallowed by the ocean's might, or is it waiting to be found? The answer sleeps in the deep sea. The tales of Atlantis bring to life an enchanted bond between humans and the ocean's guardians. Imagine dolphins, swift and clever, guiding lost sailors to safety, or ancient turtles, as wise as time itself, protecting the city's secrets from prying eyes. Dolphins, with their bright smiles and playful flips, were Atlantis's cheerful friends, guiding lost sailors with their acrobatics and clicks. They symbolize joy and connection, teaching us the beauty of living in tune with nature. And turtles, the ancient wise protectors of Atlantis carried the city's secrets on their backs. Gliding through the sea, they shared the ocean's wisdom, reminding us to be patient, listen to the earth, and protect its timeless treasures. While Atlantis's truth might rest beneath the waves, the spirit of its legend lives on. It teaches us to cherish the ocean and its incredible inhabitants, for they hold stories as old as the sea itself. Let us carry the spirit of Atlantis in our hearts, dreaming, exploring, and protecting the vast, mysterious ocean, for in its depths might lie secrets waiting to be discovered, safeguarded by the most unexpected guardians. Our journey with Kwame's ocean legends concludes, but the call of Atlantis and its marine guardians invites us to learn more about the ocean filled with wonders, both real and imagined. As we part, remember, the greatest adventures and the most profound secrets are nurtured by our respect and love for the sea. And so, we've reached the end of our incredible journey beneath the waves in Secret of the Sea. From the mystery of the coral reefs 
to the creation of a jellyfish in a bottle and the legendary tales of Atlantis, we've explored the depths of the ocean and discovered its wonders together. Did you enjoy today's aquatic adventure? If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with all your friends so our Play Pals group gets bigger. Let's spread the love for our amazing oceans far and wide. I have a question for you. Which was your favorite fishy friend we met today? I love all of them. Parents and guardians, we encourage you to chat with your little explorers about today's episode. Discuss the incredible ecosystems of coral reefs, the science behind how things float, or the captivating stories that have sailed through history, like the legend of Atlantis. Thank you for joining us on this underwater expedition. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and remember, the next great discovery could be yours. Until our next adventure, stay curious and protect the precious wonders of our planet. Farewell, friends, and see you on the next wave of adventure with the Planet Play Pals.